And now, a Zone It 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! While I feel like these movies will never reach a quality level that'll make them more enjoyable than simply playing the video game, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 managed to keep elements of the first film that worked and improve on some elements that didn't. The sequel definitely leveled up in terms of action and played out a little more like a game, instead of leaning on tired comedic gags surrounding a character that has super speed. The sequel also upped its game in the humor department, writing in some jokes that were seemingly targeted towards the grown-ups who were taking the kid list to see the movie. And much like the last film, Jim Carrey was an absolute blast to watch as Dr. Robotnik. His performance is so reminiscent of the Jim Carrey comedies I enjoyed back in the day that it made me want to go home after the movie and revisit some of those films. Idris Elba was also a solid addition to the voice cast, voicing the fan favorite character Knuckles. While it seemed like his casting was purely for hype, I really liked the choices they made for this character, coming off as brooding, edgy, and hilariously literal. The main complaint I have about Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was that it's far too long. Lately, this has been a common gripe for movies geared towards adults, but factoring in a child's ability to sit still in a movie theater for a certain length of time, a film clocking in at just over two hours is asking way too much. There was one scene in particular that was definitely funny and made me chuckle a few times, but it was completely unnecessary and, if cut out, could have saved the film a good 15 to 20 minutes. But overall, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was a bit of a step up from its predecessor. It's definitely one that kids can enjoy and parents can tolerate. Cut! That's a wrap!